In our Minute Bible Fact Talk today, in our mini-series on end times, do you know that in the terms of the end times, the Bible focuses on two cities? Firstly, Jerusalem, and secondly, Babylon. And it is this city that I'd like to bring to your attention today to watch out for. Not many people speak of it, but Babylon is mentioned 280 times in the Bible, more than any city except Jerusalem. When Jerusalem is seen as a city close to God's heart, Babylon is easily the most important pagan city that ever existed in history. In that there is hardly a city anywhere in the world that has not been influenced by the city, religiously or in terms of government or commercially. In fact, it is over two and a half millennia shaped developing nation states in most cities. Long before the world had ever coined the word socialism, it was a Babylonian philosophy. Babylon is where Satan located his influence and began a centuries battle against God for the conquest of the souls of men. It is there that governments had their earliest beginnings. It is there that the Tower of Babel began. It even produced great kings like King Nebuchadnezzar. As history changed in the centuries, Satan moved his influence from Babylon, and Babylon fell into ruins. Then in the 1980s, President Saddam Hussein started to rebuild the city of Babylon again. Google it. God's word tells us, as another sign of the end times, to watch for Babylon's rise. You can be sure that any city mentioned seven times in two chapters of the book of Revelation, chapter 17 and 18, will be a literal city, an influential city, to become Satan's headquarters under an antichrist, a world leader who will move his headquarters from Europe to Babylon in the last three and a half years of the seven-year tribulation period. Even now, in our lifetime, Babylon is being prepared for its financial appearance on the stage of human history. The ancient prophecies of Babylon are unfolding before us, just like many other prophecies of the end times. Babylon, a city of history, and situated in the oil-rich reserves of the world. As a note for the end times, let's just be aware. May God bless you.